So he knocked on a door and luckily there were people inside. A man opened the door for him. Do you remember that friar? He was so poor, right? He was so hungry, right? But yet, he was far too proud to ask for a bite to eat. He was so proud just to beg for food. So, instead of that, he told the man, can I ask you to borrow a pot in which I can make a delicious and filling sopa de piedra. Do you know what sopa de piedra means? What does it mean? Exactly, it means stone soup. So, the man was so surprised and he said, a stone soup? How in the world could a stone soup be appetizing? But still, the man was so curious. So the man and his family invited that friar into their home. They prepared a large pot, they filled it up with water. So, slowly walking to the ironclad cauldron, that friar reached deep into his pocket. And he produced, hmm, maybe that soup needs some seasoning. So, the generous man's wife brought him some salt. He added the salt to the water, and then he had another taste. And he said, hmm, yeah, that is better. But you know what? It could have been much better if it was some chorizo. Does anyone know what chorizo is? Chorizo is a sausage. Who here likes sausage? Yeah, a lot of us. Yes, in fact, I love sausage. I love sausage so much, you can even call me a carnivore. <laughs> so, the wife told the man, the wife told the man that, young man, you are in luck because the friar had another taste. And he said, yes, now that is so much better. But you know what? I have a way that can make that soup even more delicious and more filling. That, if by any chance we have some leftover vegetables, um, some carrot, cabbage perhaps, or some onion, or potato, that would make it taste so nice, right? What if we add that to make it even more